we hit this milestone a full two months ahead of our schedule and a full two months ahead of our original goal of the, of the original goal at the end of September. And that milestone Milton MP Adam Vancouverden is referring to is the accumulation of 66 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines, which he says is enough to double vaccinate every eligible Canadian. Vancouverden made this announcement on August 12th in front of the Halton Region Vaccine Clinic at the First Ontario Arts Centre. Vancouverden says deliveries from both Pfizer and Moderna are expected to continue throughout the summer as the government continues to monitor the pandemic situation. As the science around COVID-19 vaccines evolves, while also engaging vaccine suppliers to ensure that we mitigate any emerging risks in the face of new variants and continue to evolve our procurement and delivery strategies. I also want to make special mention of a local organization, Inamar, who has been storing and helping with the logistics and the cold taint chain logistics of these vaccines. And I also want to thank uh, the uh, local, local governments, the regional government and the, my town councillors. And it's been an all hands on deck effort. And I just want to thank absolutely everybody who's pitched in. This announcement comes after the Fed's promise a vaccine passport for international travel. Vancouverden says it just makes sense. Uh, many other countries are instituting something else, so it's in Canadians' best interest to also have that uh, to ensure that when Canadians are prepared to travel and uh, when travel becomes safe again, uh, we have that. Uh, we have the Arrive Can app, so if you are starting to travel now, as I know many of my neighbours have, please download and use the Arrive Can app. It's absolutely essential. And as we look towards more borders reopening and international travel becoming safer in the coming months, uh, certainly the federal government will be there to ensure that a vaccine passport to enable that international travel will be available to Canadians. The vaccine passport is set to launch in the fall. For Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.